I am the Windmaker today. I'm installing my windows. Now that I have a roof over my head and a frame around the shop, I need to cover it all with planks. But before doing that, I really need to make all the window frames. So the first thing I do is plane all the cedar boards that I bought. Without dust collection, we have a lot of chips to pick up. It really shows that I bought naughty cedar. So now I have to cut all the top and sides around all those nuts. I rip each board to a width of 7 and 7 eighths. Now the pieces can be cut to length. The top boards must have a rabbit at each end. I start by tracing the shoulder of the rabbit with a marking gauge before I make it. Next, I begin the window sill. After cutting it a little bit longer, I rip one side straight. Turn it around and rip it to the right width. Then I return to the saw I brought back from my cottage and cut it to length. Next, I trace the shape of the sides onto the sill and cut it out. Then I mark the angle of the front sill and plane it with an electric plane. I smooth everything in the end with the end plane. Then I check if everything fits, using the actual window frames that I made last winter. And it's perfect. Then I check if I didn't goof up the actual frame opening, just in case. Then I glue it up. I spread a good coat on the silk and grain and a little on the sides. Then for good measure, I screw everything in place. I begin by pre-drilling pallet holes before screwing 3 inch screws. I do the same thing for the top piece. My first frame is ready. I need to make 3 others. 24 hours later, I have 4 window frames ready, but I'm leaving them aside for now and start to work on the front gable window frames. I begin by roughly cutting the boards around all the nuts. And just like for the other windows, I rip one side straight. Then cut it to length. Then we just need to glue and screw all the boards together.
Then I cut more boards. But René finds that all this cutting is going too slowly. So she begs me to buy an electric miter saw. I can't disappoint her. So I did. She was right. The work goes a lot faster. When the first frame is finished, we try it in place and we're ready for the second one. But my darn crane is in the way. So I decide to lay it on the ground and dismantle it later. I could use it as an Halloween decoration, but we're always working on Halloween night. Next, we make the second frame. Then I rip all the interior of the frames. After cutting them to length, I glue and screw them in place. Then both frames are completed. When both frames are completed, I spray finish on them. Now I can finish the other frames. I start by installing those hinges I bought last summer in the flea market. To make the hinges mortises, I use this router with a 716 template guide and a quarter inch spiral router bit. So I'm left with a difference of 3 seconds of an inch. The first thing to do is to make an inch master template, which I'll be using to make all the cuts for the other template. To make this master, I use the actual inch and trace around with a spacer of 3 seconds of an inch. Then I just need to cut to the line. <laughs> I begin the template by cutting a strip of MDF. Then with a smaller router, I use a copying bit and with my master template, I cut the actual inch template. Then I use this template to make the hinges mortises. When I'm done, I try the inch and pre-reel pilot holes with a VIX bit. And I finally screw the inch in place. Next, I need to do the same thing for the actual windows frame. Then I assemble it together. When they're all finished, I disassemble them and spray them. The next morning, I can make the final assembly. I want brass screw in my windows, but a brass screw is fragile. So I begin by screwing middle wood screws. Next, I remove them and replace them with brass screws. To avoid trouble, I even screw them with a less powerful screw gun. Then I screw the mating part of the hinge to the frame. And now we're ready to install our windows. This is pretty simple. After they're in place, I check if they're at the right spot and screw them to the exterior frame.
We just have to repeat this for all the other windows. Next, I screw little triangles on the front rafters on top of the gable windows. Then we can install both sets of gable windows frame. This is really simple. After they're in place, I screw everything. But the windows which open are not finished yet. I didn't make anything to stop them. So after cutting strips of cedar, I make a round over on one side. Then I cut four pieces for each window opening. Then I place them around the frame, space with the same thickness as the weather stripping that I'm gonna use. Then it's just a matter of pre drilling pallet holes and screwing 2 inch brass screws. This is way better that way. The next morning, I finish the other windows. And it's at that moment that I realize that I forgot to make a drip edge under the window sills. So I get my beading tool and make a drip profile under the window sills. This simple profile will let the water drops drip to the ground. Now we need to put another coat of finish on all our window frames. Now I must install the window locks. After placing one at the correct spot with the setup block, I drill pallet holes. Then I screw it in place. Now I can figure out the placement of the keeper on the molding and drill its pallet holes. Next, I remove completely the molding and make the lock mortise. Then I can reinstall everything in place. Now I can finally lock the window. I just need to repeat this for the top of the window and for all the other ones. Next, we stick the weather stripping on all the windows. Finally, all the windows frame are finished. When the external walls are in place, I'll install the actual glass, but not before, just in case. All those cedar window frames cost me more than modern PVC ones. But the cedar look is way better. So, see you soon for the installation of the front doors on the woodpecker.